Welcome back to the Pent Up Angler. It's finally that time of the year again down here in South Louisiana. The brim and bluegill should be biting. It's May 1st and we're going to head down to Henderson, Louisiana and get into those woods. I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to try to keep the voiceovers to a minimum so you can enjoy the beauty and the sounds. Always so nice in there in those woods. It was a very steady but slow bite. You had to really be patient and wait for a bit, but it was worth it. I'll give you more detail as we go through the video. Thanks for watching. Oh, one hander. That thing was on it the whole time. Wow. Good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's the kind of takedown you know it's gonna be a good fish. Slow and smooth. Oh, look at the beauty. Wow, that is a nice one. On a cricket about 18 inches under. It's beautiful. So brim and bluegill fishing, I use a very small spinning reel, 1000 series an ultralight rod. I use the Thill Slip Cork and also about a five size split weight. Put that about 18 inches under with crickets. Use a Carlisle hook. It has a long shank. It helps to remove it from the brim nice and easily. And again, got to be a little bit patient out there, but that Thill Slip Cork really detects the bite quite well. The big advantage of these slip corks is the uh, allowance for very precise casting, especially in tight quarters like these woods. Just very precise and easy, not having a lot of extra line hanging out. There we go. Come on. Yep, slow and steady again. I think he had it the whole time. Oh, there's a lot of structure down there. You can see him pulling stuff up. Look at that. Boom. Good looking fish. About the only thing that disturbs the peace out there is the airboat tours, and that's okay. A lot of people enjoying seeing the Atchafalaya Basin and the swamps. You can see I'm a little bit of weaving and bobbing through those trees. The water back in those woods was varying between two and a half to all the way up to about five feet of depth, but overall not very deep. It was dirty on this day. We had some storms that had just come through, but still good enough for a decent bite. Finding a few now. Beautiful bull brim. Thank you, buddy. Oh, that was a good one. Nice dark one. Long ways away, man. I am back in here. There you go, buddy. Those crickets can be tricky and sneaky, 
and definitely more agile than me. You gotta track them down, can't waste any of them. pretty good but we got one Dave she's working a lot oh a nice one Dave Whew. did you get a bull a bull one this is pretty much a bull all right all right my buddy Dave on the phone nice one there my buddy Tom caught a bunch of big tuna the other day out on his boat that's awesome stuff man these things are fat not all that big but ended up catching over 40 with the slip cork and crickets but decided to speed the action up a little bit throwing a small little beetle spin i just enjoy the way the fish feel when they hit this thing ended up there with about six to seven more brim and one bass not a bad way to finish up the day a great day to start the season early May and it was all catch and release on this day but I was very fortunate six different species bluegill chickapin sockele catfish bass and even a gaspergoo at the end but it was certainly a very very nice day over 40 caught like I said and then into a beautiful sunset and a beautiful evening thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one soon